Hey, Migdowan here. Today we are taking a look at the 4-inch figure Lynx from Jazzwares Fortnite line. I can't believe I actually have this figure because a short time ago I told everyone that it might not be released. So happy to be wrong. Anyway, I found this figure at Walmart for just under $10, so let's take a look at the back of the box and we'll move on from there. Up near the top is the quote, Lynx, who needs nine lives when one is enough? In the middle we have the cross sale. All of these figures have been released, but for some reason, Fusion and Ghost Henchmen have been stuck in the UK. And for those who want to see the barcode, here it is. Alright, let's get this figure out. If you are new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. If you want to help the channel out and you play Fortnite, please feel free to add my creator code to your epic account. It's McDowan. Lynx is a legendary skin and part of the Lynx set. Released in Chapter 1, Season 7, the skin was part of the Battle Pass and was available at Tier 1. This figure represents the Stage 3 version of the skin. She comes with her harvesting tool, the Scratch Mark. Got a little bit of purple down here on the handle, a little bit of light blue up here, and it's a very jaggedy looking harvesting tool. She holds it pretty well, and so yeah, it's another good looking harvesting tool from Jazzwares. I have a quick word of warning before we get in and actually take a look at this figure, and that is, well, this is my second Lynx figure. My first one, well, it didn't fare too well. I went to twist the head, or rotate the head, and it just came right off. I kid you not, a little bit of a twist and off it popped. And I initially thought I was rotating it normally, but I wasn't. The reason I have this warning for you is, when I got this figure, and started to rotate it just a little bit. I was very careful. It was also uh, appeared to be stuck. The ball joint just appeared to be kind of tight and stuck up inside the head. So what I did was I ran hot water, pure hot water, over it for a few seconds and it loosened right up and now it's working really good. So when you get this figure, if you haven't gotten it yet, be really gentle with the head. Just kind of feel it a little bit and it feels if, if it feels a least little bit tight, run it under hot water because I don't want you to have the same problem that I had and end up with a headless Lynx because, well, as cool as the figure looks, a headless figure is not nearly as cool. So with that aside, you know, if you take nothing else from this video, just bear, <laughs> go with that, please, because I, I don't want you to have any trouble. So anyway, this is about a four inch tall figure as usual. This is just a little bit shorter than some figures it's it's pretty close though and has 28 points of articulation so we'll take a peek here at the articulation real quick the head does rotate it's supposed to rotate and now that i've actually run it under hot water it's really nice i may run a few other tight figures under the water just because head looks down head looks up Head looks up like really well, really well. The arms rotate at the shoulders and hot water got on the arms so they rotate or they, they maneuver really well. The first one uh, didn't have arms that would come up this high. It's kind of cool, these little shoulder armor pieces will slide right in under the torso area, the chest area, which is very nice. The elbows rotate and have a hinge. So you have about that degree of rot uh, a bend right there. The wrists rotate and have a hinge as well. They're a little tight. They didn't get uh, any of the water. The chest wobbles and wiggles. If you want her to lean forward, she can lean forward about that far. Sorry, I keep not getting straight on with the camera. And leans back just a little bit, about that far. She should be able to rotate her waist, but it's very difficult. There's nothing inside blocking it. I was checking into that, but it's a very, it, it's more of a softer rubber midsection. And so if you want to rotate it, it's going to look a little funny. It's going to bow a little bit. It's going to stick out, as you can see right there. So I wouldn't count on the torso or, yeah, the midsection really rotating. In fact, you can see I now have a gap here. After pulling it apart, I'm going to have to pull it apart and see if I can push the midsection down further. But the chest area wiggles around pretty well, so you probably don't need much more than that. If you want her to do the splits, well, she can go up that far comfortably and reasonably. 
uh, without having problems. If you want her to sit, well, she can sit about that well. We have vehicles, we have to worry about this stuff now. You can rotate the thighs just a little bit if you want her to, to sit better. If you want her to jump out of an airplane or something, then her legs really don't go back all that far. Mention the torso, not the torso, but the thigh rotation, double pin at the knee, and at the ankle, she's wearing these really cool looking cat claw feet boots. Rotate and hinge back and forth, and she's got a pretty good range of motion for these boots. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get a little bit closer here with uh, the feet here, so you can see those feet. Those are really cool looking feet. My lights are not quite set up to, to knock out some of the shadows, but uh, I think they look pretty cool. I'll rotate around this way. Yeah, I think the feet look really pretty cool. Uh, she's got a tail sticking here out of the back well, of her waist area. And I don't know if this is a an articulate tail or not. I haven't really gotten the nerve to try out. Try it out. I might try it out on the broken figure. It looks like it should be able to like rotate around, but I can't quite tell. It definitely doesn't. I, I, I wiggle it around and I can feel something loose. It may just be plugged in there. So, you know, you might not try that. That may end up twisting off just like the head. I think that this will be the most fragile piece of this figure right here. But it's really cool. I really like this tail on this figure. It it just looks, the, it makes the figure look really nice. I think it, it's a pretty cool look for this figure, although this whole figure is pretty cool in of itself. Got the colors and everything. I hope we see some other versions of it anyway. So, you know, we've, we've all been waiting a long time for this figure. We first heard about it earlier in the year. I don't remember if we heard about it late last year or if it was just earlier, like in January of this year, but we, we've been waiting a long time for this. And while, you know, the it's not a tall figure, like I don't have the art here, but the art makes it look like a really tall, slender figure. It's a little bit wider and uh, not as tall as some of the figures, but you know, it's still a cool looking figure. And I think I think it portrays this character quite well. This may be one of my become this may become one of my top favorite figures. So yeah. Anyway, she's a great addition to the four inch line, I think. And I hope we actually get some of the alter, alternates of her. She's got a few different colors. There's like a blue one and a red one. And there's even the one where she's not like in this cat armor with a mask. She's got more of a regular clothes look that would be cool as well I, I i'm just a big fan of this one so anyway yeah so now it's your turn what do you think about this figure leave your thoughts in the comments section below and before you go if you haven't already check out my recent review of the polar legends set who they all stand much better than this figure apparently <laughs> the polar legends set uh it's pretty it's a pretty cool set hardy har har in the lower left hand corner anyway thank you for watching please like this video and share it everywhere it really helps the channel to grow so i can be get out more videos like this anyway i will see you in the next video